Hello. There is a new way of replacing jukebox uh, discs without having a resource pack. What is this madness? Oh, wait. Um, what you want to do is download this file, or you create it yourself, with, for example, Notepad, and place this inside the file and name it to this. It uh, should be formatted as MC Meta. Um, and this is the number that you should change if you use if you use 1.8 for example. So if you, you are using 1.8, put 1 there instead of 2, this is for 1.9. And you need these folders to replace jukebox sounds. This sound, uh, I mean <laughs> this folder is not needed in order to change the recorder. And what you want to do is find uh, music sound that you want to replace the disc with. For example, um, I already did it here, but if you have a MP3 files file, uh, you can use this site here. And uh, choose the song that you uh, that you want to convert. For example, this is the music that I want. And then you convert it, and when it's downloaded, you place it in here. The name of this should be the disk that you're replacing. And how do you know the names of them? Well, there's a really nice way of doing that now. You can go to assets indexes and choose the version that you're using for example 1.9 for me and then find record and now you can see that there are there are a few that you can replace this with this should be the name of the the disk you are replacing so you can rename it to anything that you want to replace But, um, you can take cat for example and um, if you want to install this sound to uh, a resource pack that you already have you just open it with for example 7-zip and drag it into to the resource pack and click yes now it's going to create the folders that you ha already have here and uh, place the record in this folder so the cat is now the, the this sound here now when you start minecraft you can uh, either choose to play with the, your resource pack that you have downloaded somewhere for example this one this has the disk installed as well but you can take the uh, wait where is it oh it's already selected but you have to select it you know this pack that you created you can use that one and now we will have the default everything is default now except the disk sound this is gonna be really loud I noticed somehow the microphone is not that good. So I'm not gonna speak while turning this song on. Wait, let me kill this song here. Now, oh, it's not replaced. But, oh, it was a cat. Okay, I forgot that. Sorry. Now you can see that it's actually working. It's a cat and it's replaced. So. 
So, uh, oh, sorry. Now, if I change to the other resource track that I installed the sound on, for example, now we want to use the faithful track instead. It's installed, as you can see, but I have, I have also, I think, I have installed. Yeah, Pirates of Caribbean. <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> no. Yeah. This is from the other video that I made. But this is a really nice way of doing it as well, because now you don't need a resource pack. Someone comment, commented. <laughs> sent a comment about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he said that he wanted the original pack uh, while having the sounds on the jukebox. Well, now you can have that. So. And you don't need any software to replace the sound. You just need uh, this site, for example, if you have the music that you want to replace. And something you can also do now is creating or replacing other sounds as well. If you go to to uh, your Minecraft, oh, let's go Minecraft folder and click uh, Assets, Indexes, and take the version that you want to play. And you can see these sounds here. You can replace any of these sounds. You just have to create the correct folders that are listed here now. If you if you start here, for example, Minecraft. Oh, that we have that already. And it has sounds, and then you have to create mob and Enderman inside that Enderman. And then you rename your music file to this the same way you did to replace the record disk sound. Yeah. Uh, you can also replace the music in the game this way as well. For example, this music you can replace that as well. You only have to inside this folder music, and then depending on where you are replacing the music, you can. Uh, you know, this is a pretty common song in the game. You just create a new folder here as well. And uh, for example, if I want the same song from this, you just go to music game and uh, what are they doing? Yeah, you um, rename it to to the same thing as here. So now the game music is gonna do this as well. So you can replace any any music in the game as well, which is pretty nice if you want your own music in the game. And you can do this the same way then if you want to install it on another pack that you already have. Oh, sorry. A bit fast. <laughs> yeah, you just open it with, uh, for example, Seven Zip again. Now. You can uh, go to the assets and just drag it in and click yes. But now I'm running Minecraft, so I can't do that. So I don't have to. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that's that's how you do it, and it's pretty simple. It's more simple than uh, the other video because then you had to do it inside the resource pack itself, but now you can just create it outside it, outside of the research pack, and make your own kind of thing here with the default textures. And if you want to install it to another pack, you just drop it, drag and drop. So that's everything, and uh, thanks for watching.